even though I'm not going to take the sample right now, because it's the FOIA, I don't know where it's been. You'll be. Can't really guess it. Can't. Oh, God. All right. Photographer. Hey, can I get my, where's my, can I get some more from my other spot? I take it, like and all I do is take the rubber band. Yeah. yeah. And I do that. I didn't see that. Do it again. I just took the rubber band. Literally. Just took a rubber band, put a rubber band around it. Okay. I take off my gloves, wash my hands, tell the patient I'll be back in 15 minutes. So you don't use that blue clip at all? That blue clip is the clip that sheets so that it doesn't pull when the bag pulls. That clip it goes like. It goes to the sheets, it does this on the sheets. That make sense? Yeah. Some people use hemostats. I found that hemostats pierce the tubing. Wait 15 minutes, I come back and I wash my hands, I put new gloves on, all that type of stuff. On the bed that we were using for the NG tube, there's some alcohol swabs, Billy. Thanks, bud. Okay. Everything is meant to be open a certain way. When I open up any syringe, I pull it back like a banana. Okay, because a lot of nurses do this, and then they pull it out, they're pulling out. It just touched where I just touched, does that make sense? So when I open up a syringe, I hold it back like a banana. It's okay with that? I'm gonna do a sterile procedure. I have a clean love on. We agree, that's sterile. I checked the color, the, the color, the integrity, the expiration date. You guys better verbalize that. Color, integrity, expiration date. Same thing. I can't set that down because it has to be sterile. Do you agree with me? Mm -hmm. Pull it back like a banana. Some of them screw on, some of them push on. This is a push on. Now I can touch everywhere because the two sterile pieces are together. I never touched them. I put them together. I did a sterile procedure with clean rubber. I cleaned the aspiration port for how long? 15 seconds. Yeah, I got it. Aggressively scrub it. Right. Let me show you guys something, because this is you guys. This is you guys. And this is what happened. Because you don't want to do a big motion, because you, you want to get the cap off like ever so gingerly. And you take it off. Take it off. And then you don't recap a used needle. I can recap this needle all day long, because it's not used. Well, I have you having back, the needle's inside the cap. It's okay to recap. If I forgot something, I'm recapping them. Not a problem. Once it goes inside there, or if I inject the patient, it doesn't ever get recapped. Never recap the use needle. We'll talk more about that next week in medication and nutrition. Okay, urine's built up in here. That's why I waited 15 minutes. I come in, go at a 45 degree angle. If I looked at the catheter kit that we have, it tells me nothing larger than a 22 gauge. Right, so I have a 22 gauge, because anything larger than that, it can't reseal itself. I then draw out my urine. When you take a needle out of the patient or out of the catheter that has urine, that could cause me to get an infection that's very severe. I don't like my thumb near the needle because the needle is sharp and it has organisms. Whoa. Skills. Okay. Now I'm going to take the needle off. What's that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> kind of. Up. Right. Sharps and sharps, Gar sharps, sharps, garbage. Okay. Now, last week I did this, and Jen brought up a very good point. I didn't mention this, and I forgot to mention it again today. This would already be labeled with the patient's date, time, and initials. Their patient sticker with my date, time, and initials. Because now I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it in a biohazard bag. I don't want to be grabbing the outside of the container. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, I put it in the biohazard bag, my gloves come off. I take it to the nurse's station for 30 minutes or put it in a refrigerator for two hours. And that's how you get a sample. That's one of the easier skills, I think. Okay, do I see the safety again? Yes. <laughs> What's that? Yep, everything I got. We have, we're going to do some next Saturday when we get to medication administration. So this, I'm, I don't ever do it with my thumb, but it goes like that. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. you, everyone ready? Mm -hmm. I'll go slow. Oh, okay. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. right. So the, the syringe goes in the sharps too. Yeah, all syringes go in the sharps. Mm -hmm. Okay. For DCing the fully, have you guys figured out how to do that yet? Because I didn't show you guys last week. Pretty easy. Can you hand me a chucks? Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, cheers. Mm -hmm. Get a new chucks. This is a fully secure in there, by the way. I don't know where to stand. That's not you. You're good. You're good. I'm mostly scared of your shirt. <sighs> she goes to Kent State and she has a Toledo shirt on. <laughs> it's rude. <laughs> so I would look in the chart to see how many mLs the nurse actually filled it up with. Okay. Right? Um, I can also check here. This tells me it should be 5 mLs. But sometimes nurses put more than five in there. So what I do is I go in, yeah. and I can use a 10 cc. I'm just using the syringe because I had it. Okay, I'm gonna draw up. I squirt it on the chuck. It's still sterile water, a sterile or sterile saline, whatever it is. I'm not sure which one it is. I think it's saline. Um, when I put it in, it was sterile. It stayed inside the balloon the entire time. I go back a second time to make sure that it's in, in, indeed all out. Last thing I want to do is pull out a syringe or pull out a fully that still, still has a balloon inserted. Mm. You're the patient. Take two deep breaths on the second forceful exhale. I'm going to pull out. When I go to pull out, you're going to feel some pain. Um, it's going to be more burning in nature than anything. You might feel as though you have to urinate. You don't have to urinate because you just had a catheter in. Um, after I pull it out, have you, you have up to eight hours to urinate. If you don't urinate within eight hours, then I might have to bladder scan you put another catheter in. To encourage you to urinate, here is a, a big thing of water and two cups of water. Start drinking these right away. Okay. Do you have any questions? No. We're going to have you take two deep breaths on the second and the next out. We're going to pull it out. It's going to be out within a second. Okay. Okay. Two deep breaths. Blow. Okay. Deep time this. Really deep. Deep, deep, deep. And blow. Okay. We'll be back. We'll wash your hands and stuff, okay? Pretty easy. Okay. That's good. Taking that.